Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ah, I feel so good to record a video for this channel. You guys, I've been on a hiatus, seriously. Oh my God. But I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> this is a very late upload. I was supposed to do this uh, video last month for Black History Month, but you know, life happens and it's been it's been consistently sitting in my closet so i figure i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it today because my hair looks a mess and i want to try it out to see if i like it um so let's get into this quick video this is madam cj walker frizz fighting essentials coconut and moringa oils um product box it comes with three products you can get this box um, from sephora.com and I think on their website as well I will have both of those links to the, on the in the description box below I think this box is about $28 or $38 and it comes with three small bottles of the product the reason why I didn't buy full bottles is because I don't know if I'm going to really like the products and I have been consistently trying to get rid of all of the products that's in my closet but when I found out that Madam CJ Walker actually still has products out I was like I have to get this this would be cute for my channel and I wanted to see how good it is, to be honest. But let's open up the box. It does come with a three fluid ounce container of the curl conditioner, softening and detangling. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really, really cute, you guys. Really, really cute. I really like the packaging. It smells like a light heavenly scent i don't know how to really describe um what this smells like i'm looking at the ingredients to see if it has sulfates it does have sulfates in it you guys so if you guys are not putting sulfates in your hair you definitely don't want to try this um it has glycerin in it it water is the first ingredient and then alcohol is the next two ingredients so i don't know how moisturizing this is going to be for me hmm i probably should have looked at this before i bought it we'll see what happens and you guys, normally, I don't mind um, silicones and stuff, but I really don't put sulfates in my hair. I'm going to try it out to see if I like it. I'm pretty sure I'm probably not, just because it has sulfates in it. But we'll see. I, I might be surprised. And then this is a 3 fluid ounce of Humidity Black Curl Gel Shaping and Defining. And it says wavy slash curly hair. Um, once again, this has glycerin in it as well. Water is the first ingredient. The gels, my hair normally likes gels that does have water as like the first ingredient. Like the, um, hey, what's the one called that I love that I just ran out of? It's not Carol's Daughter or is it Camille Rose? Whatever the curl, um, I don't remember. Y'all know, it was in my last, it was in my... Uh, it was in my last video, I think it was. I don't remember what the name. Uh, I don't remember. But my hair normally likes um, gels that has water as the first ingredient. It likes kind of like that slimy type gel. That's what defines my curls the best. And then this last product is Scent and Shine Coconut Oil. This is how this is packaged. Okay, it has like a little story of Madam CJ Walker in here. Um, well, it has like a little dropper that's different for coconut oil <clears throat> okay this says scent and shine coconut oil nourishing and moisturizing it's 0.15 fluid ounces this is what it looks like and it comes with this dropper bottle again Um, here's my thought process. I don't want to be a hypocrite because I don't just put all just natural products on my hair. Um, I try to do that, but sometimes certain products I do like, like I try to stay away from sulfates. Like I just said about this conditioner, I don't mind silicone. So I'm not a hundred percent curly girl. Um, I just dropped a dropper y'all under my couch, but I'm not completely like curly girl method. But my only issue is with oils and stuff, I tend to like to use straight organic oils. I don't think this is an organic oil because coconut oil, as you guys will know, will get a little hard um, when it's cold. I live in Detroit, Michigan. It's been very cold. 
and because it's been very cold there's no way that this oil would have stayed this way it would have definitely um uh, my son just walked in the room um yeah so it would have definitely gotten harder so i don't think this is completely organic coconut oil let me read the ingredients to see it says capric slash caprylic triglycerides i'm pretty sure i'm not pronouncing that right i'm not a scientist okay um but it does say in parentheses coconut oil and then next it says fragrance essential oil blend so this my question is what essential oils is in here like you know i don't know if i want to put this in my hair it literally smells like fake coconut scent like <laughs> does that make sense yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put this on my hair. I might put this on my face or something. I don't know, you guys. I probably won't be trying this one. I don't put coconut oil in my hair anyway. I've been using um, the Miel Organics Mint Almond Oil. My hair loves the olive oil and almond oil. So that's kind of what I've been sticking to. And I mean like straight organic. Like if I don't, if I run out of mint almond oil, I normally just do straight up almond oil from the grocery store. Or I do straight up... Um, olive oil extra virgin olive oil and um yeah like even on the ingredients from Yale organics it says glisten so high which is soybeans oil and then it says prunus whatever that word y'all i'm not about to sit here and try to pronounce that it just basically says sweet almond oil in parentheses and then peppermint oil and then it says product contains some certified organic ingredients here's my thought process i should be able to pronounce what's in my hair products because if i can't pronounce what's in my hair products then it's not completely organic there's some type of chemicals in it this right here is the truth straight up regular almond oil sweet almond oil though not just plain almond oil i like sweet almond oil on my hair and then extra virgin olive oil but yeah so today is my wash day i'm going to definitely show you guys in the next clip as i apply the conditioner how it detangles my hair how i like it i'm going to basically apply that after i co-wash with carol's daughter hair milk cleansing conditioner and after I normally co-wash and deep condition, I'm going to try to deep condition with air conditioner. If I don't like, if it's, if I don't feel like it's moisturizing, I'm definitely going to go ahead and do a deep treatment with the, um, it's a protein treatment, texture treatment by Apple G, I think it is, Apple G, whatever, however you pronounce it. And then, um, I normally follow up with a leave-in. Today I'm going to be using the main choice, ancient Egyptian cuticle control leave-in lotion. And then I follow up with that Mill Organics on my oil. And then after that, I style my hair after I get out the shower and dry off and put lotion on. And I'm just going to do a flat twist style today. So nothing major, just something to do. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, you guys. So in the previous clip, I showed you guys the texture of my hair. Um, I do have on gloves because I just got my nails done and I have my phone over now. And I don't like to have my hair. So that's why I So 
I'm back, my hair is about 60% dry. Um, my final thoughts is that this all, I'm not going to say three because I didn't try the coconut oil, but the two products that I did try was a fail, okay? <laughs> fail. I don't like how my hair feels. I don't like how my hair looks. Um, I think it's because the conditioner has sulfates in it, so I'm definitely going to have to rewash my hair and cleanse it with a shampoo to get rid of those sulfates out of my hair because I don't normally put sulfates in my hair. I did it just so I can give you guys an honest review. I probably won't be doing this again because now I feel like my hair has went backwards. Um, I haven't had a bad wash and go in quite some time, so this is definitely not a good moment for me, but I'm rocking my hair like this. So I can go get something to eat with my husband and I'm going to keep it moving. But yeah, on my channel I will definitely be posting failure videos, um, successful videos. I don't want to just post the videos where my hair came out popping because my hair don't come out popping all the time. Especially if you guys do fail and you don't have time to refix your hair. I'm going to be showing you how you can style it and just get it out the way until you have time to redo it. Because the truth is, is that natural hair, you definitely... Um, yeah natural hair you definitely you have to have trial and error for sure but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remind you hit the bell so you can be notified when i upload i will be uploading on my hair channel at least once a week thank you guys again so much for watching have a great weekend have a great week bye